Hey guys, so got a little confused over my test the other day on the SPI epoxy. And so that's why I put that other video up. Let me tell you about that video for a second. So I took these, these pa panels and just for my own self, that's why I never released it. I did this four years ago. I wanted to see how well this stuff actually adhered because I'm using it on my car. I've used it on other people's cars and I'm one, I just want to make sure it was going to, you know, hold on. Um, so this was glass blasted. It was crushed glass. I kept saying on that video, I kept saying, uh, glass beads. It's not glass beads. It's crushed glass. Big difference. Uh, this was 80 grit on an angle grinder. Okay. Just a little two, two inch roll lock disc went back and forth over it, whatever. And then this is 80 grit on a DA. So this one ended up holding like 25 pounds or whatever it was. This one ended up holding, I forgot what it was, but, but anyway, this was still like 16 pounds. It was still pretty dang good, I thought. And so doing this test with this panel, you know, it pulled off there so easy. I was like in peeling up in, in pieces like this. It really confused me because I was like, I 80 gritted this. This scratch doesn't look like an 80 grit. It looks like a 180 grit, but I'm pretty sure I 80 gritted that, but maybe the paper was not sharp. It's hard. It's hard to say because that was seven years ago, but, um, so I did one guy said, what you need to do is do a, uh, this test here where you score it and you rip tape off of it, whatever, that's kind of the standard or whatever. So I did that and it actually ripped this up off of here. It just didn't adhere to this metal very well. And I don't understand other than it just doesn't have, or maybe I didn't clean it well enough, but man, I'm pretty anal about stuff like that. So the only thing I can think of is that the paper just didn't, you know, the grit just didn't give it enough tooth to hold on, or maybe I got a bad batch of epoxy at this point. I, I don't know. I, I don't know. Anyway, so I dug down, found this piece this morning, and I thought, you know what? This is four years ago. This is from four years ago. Uh, like I said, I never released that video because I thought people are tired of hearing about, it, you know, this epoxy probably. And so I just did it for myself. And that's why I went ahead and released it yesterday because I thought, man, that's terrible what happened there. But I wanted you to see how well this hung on and how well it actually did. Um, so this morning I came in and I took a piece of tape like this and did the test to see if this was going to rip up like that. Okay, there's your 80 grit on the DA. Yeah, let's go this side. Rub that down in there real good. Really make it just as much as I can. And then rip it off like a Band-Aid. And all you get is a little, well, hopefully you can see that. Pretty much nothing. It did, it didn't. It didn't come up at all. Nothing came up. It's good to go. It's the same on all of these. This is, would have been the weakest one. The rest of these are exactly the same. Same deal. You've got no chunks coming off there. You've got no chips, nothing like that. It... This stuff is stuck on there like nobody's business. Now, this is three coats. Uh, I think I said that in the video. This is three coats of, of SPI's black epoxy. And it's legit. Let me get something better than that. Let's try this. You see how that's just peeling up? That's what I expected that to do. And it didn't. And so I was a little surprised and confused. Like I said in the videos, like I don't even know what to think about that because I have nothing to compare it to. 
Well, this is more SPI epoxy and it's doing exactly what it's supposed to do, which is not, if you can see that, it's, it's just sanding itself up. And that's what it should do, not peel up like, like that. I got to thinking about that after I was done doing this, I was like, man, what went wrong with that that didn't go wrong with this? Hopefully you can see that. That's exactly what I expected from the other piece, which did not happen. So again, I know what I did here, and um, but all three of them are holding. This, this is the angle, this is the DA. Yeah, the DA I just did. So that's 80 grit on a DA and it's, it's just flaking up like it's supposed to what I would say is supposed to, that's gonna hold. That's great, and that's four years old. Um, again, why this just decided to peel up like that in pieces, maybe I said, like I said, I forgot to clean, I, I don't know, I don't know, but this, this is what I expected from it, so, I don't know that that necessarily that video is a fair comparison for this. It is a, a thought to, to make sure you clean the metal, prep the metal uh, correctly, because if you don't, you may have adhesion problems, and that's gonna be with anything, not just this epoxy. Anyway, I'm probably not gonna, I'm, this is like beating a dead horse, it seems like, but I wanted to, you know, cause a lot of people use this epoxy. So I, I wanted to make sure that, you know, it, I'm not putting it on a car and it's gonna fail in seven years or something like that. So there's that. I don't know if that changes anybody's opinion or mind, but this stuff is holding on really well, 80 grit, uh, with a roll lock, 80 grit DA, and then glass blasted with uh, uh, crushed glass. And the one that held the, the best was the roll lock on an on a 80 grit, uh, at least for this hang test that we had. But I'll do this one here. And this one is the 80 grit on the angle. see it just like sand like if you sanded it which I have sandpaper all right so that right there shows you that it's feather edged out so it's adhered to this panel correctly. It's not chipping up. Um, so yeah, I, I don't know. I'm trying to make this as fair as possible and not, you know what I mean? Cause a lot of people use this. So you do something like, like this and people are going, oh my God, what did I do? I've, I've used this and it may not, it may not hook up. Well, it, it will, and it does. But again, this metal may have been prepped differently. This is a different batch of epoxy. I, I don't know what the deal with that was. Again, this was only one coat, I think. 
This was three coats, that shouldn't matter. This should still have adhered properly, but the manufacturer does say put two coats on it. And if you're doing like a frame or something underneath, put three coats on it. And so this would be what you would have, you know, for underneath if you're, the thing I liked about this was the fact that, you know, if rocks hit it and chip it, hopefully this in the deal still, that you can always come back over it and, and lightly knock it down and then shoot it again um, and freshen it up. Or at least that was my thinking on it for like, like I said, underneath your car or maybe, you know, wherever. But uh, that I'm completely good with, like 100%. I'm, I'm ready to spray my car with that, no problem. That is makes me, you know, it made me second guess a lot of stuff, which, like I said, could be my prep, couldn't, maybe, maybe it wasn't clean enough, maybe it wasn't, I'm just, you know, I don't know. But anyway, I'm gonna kill it at that. And, uh, yeah, you guys have a good one. All right, I'm back. Edit this video real quick. Eric commented and said uh, the only thing he'd like to see was me cut a strip off this because that's what happened to, to that piece, which he's right. I didn't even think about it when I was doing it. So we're going to cut a couple of strips off this here, and this is the last one, but we'll just do some strips. Feels like it heats up. That's it feels like the metal's hot. Looks like it's still hanging on though. Yeah. Looks like it's hanging on better than the other piece did. See where it's got hot because that cutting it's trying to pull away but it only pulled away where it's hot that's interesting yeah so you can see it bubbled up on the edge there it's only pulling away where it got hot there. This piece still looks to be the same. Yeah, it's not, not really peeling up. It's interesting though when it gets, I mean, I don't know how hot that's getting. Wouldn't think it'd get that hot from the shears, but it's curling it and heating it. So maybe that's, uh, maybe that's the deal. piece that curled up as you can see so I'm gonna do this up poke another hole in my finger and it looks the same like just on the edges it's allowing it to peel up where it got hot there the rest of it is hanging on let me scratch this up like I did the other ones see if it tries to chip up or if it just So yeah, you can see it stayed, 
except for where it got hot in there and it let loose which that's it it's uh and i'm not speak out of line i was going to try to tell you what what's in it in the epoxy that allows it to adhere but it's probably epoxy <laughs> some sort of epoxy so let's see yeah this piece is doing the exact same thing as the piece earlier was doing it just has that dust basically so that's that um, let's take a piece and bend it like we did yesterday or the other day Been over fine. Let me grab a hammer and where am I here? it is still hanging on I'm not really able to get a piece to at least on that side It's not peeling off in big, even small strips since that's a piece that's been cut, but. Yeah, it's still holding. It's not peeling up in one piece, which the other one did, which that's great. So. Yeah, and that's smooth like we talked about earlier. It did come off on the very edge, but again, it got hot. So when you bend it, the metal heated up. Same thing with cutting it. The edges get a little bit hot, or a lot hot. I don't know how hot, but hot enough to make that one come off. Which again, hopefully your car never ends up like that because you're in bad shape if it does. So there's that. I figured I'd add that on to the other video. Um, all right, see you.